rise in the uh, on the list there. The last guy we're going to talk about today, Richard, is another Italian prospect. I spoke about an Italian guy, the Gabriel Presida, yesterday, I think it was, with Corey. And we're doing now Matteo Spagnolo, the 6'5", 19-year-old guard from Cremona, who shot unbelievably well. 44% from three. Um... 86% from the line, so I don't look at that and go, well, it's fluky. I think, yeah, those two things marrying together is a really good sign. But, you know, he's a European wing. So the number one question I'm going to ask you, Richard, is like, can he defend anything at all? Well, a lot of that depends on how much stronger he gets and um, just really reducing the out-of-controlness to his game. He's raw in that way where... He has very good skills on both ends. I think he's got the potential to be an okay defender physically. A lot of it's mental and just will he be able to control himself and make the right play on a quick decision? Will he be able to do those things? That's a swing skill for him. Right now, I don't know. I would probably gamble no, just being 6'4". Um, I would take the odds and say no. But if he puts it together and gets the game to slow down, there's a possibility, yes. How You, you may know this. I don't know, but let's ask the question anyway. In 675 minutes that he played last season, how many blocks do you think he had? Uh, not many. I would say one. One block in 25 games and 675. That's Evan Fournier level of, uh, of lack of block numbers. He did have 19 steals because those 25 games, so another putridly low number. So all those things make me go, okay, well, can you do anything defensively? How would you compare him with a Gabriel Procida? They're, they're different players because I buy I buy Spagnola's jumper a lot more than Procida. I think that's a big one. Um, for I, I don't really know how to... That's a, that's a very tough question. I don't know why I'm so stumped, but I just I think I buy Spagnola just being better at the things that they both do decently similarly. I, I think once you look at the turnover rate dropping for Spagnolo, I think that's going to be a massive uh, deciding factor for him. And ultimately, I just buy the jump shot a lot more. I think that's really the big difference maker between the two. One thing we always hear about European prospects and European teams is that you know minutes aren't gifted, right? You have to work hard to get minutes on these good teams. So I guess people's number one question will, well, he played 27 minutes a night. Was Cremona a good team or were they a bad team? And that's why he got the minutes. Yeah. The Italian league isn't that strong, um, but I think he's a good player. It's hard to get a lot of minutes on a young team, uh, excuse me, as a young player on a big team. The Italian league was okay. It, it grew. I would say this year it surpassed Germany, uh, which had been the top or, or so league in, in uh, Europe. but So Italy was a top four or five league in Europe at the very least. So take that as you will. I think it was still decent competition. It wasn't Spain or anything, though. It's going to be interesting to see how it's not a very strong uh, European class. So guys like uh, Prashida and Spagnolo are going to be yeah, a part of this, whereas other years you don't have that top-end guy that we've had in uh, in previous, previous seasons. So 